um it's it's time for the big kick uh, um yeah so welcome to the shadi vlog for those who don't know what the shadi vlog is it's going to be um well i mean i don't think there's anyone who knows what the shadi vlog is about i'm i'm wait there we go uh, <laughs> i'm a bit unclear as to how to put it through as well so basically um i went for a wedding that was very very fun and uh, i think people thought that i was going to talk about the wedding that i went to because that like um three of my 48 subscribers to away from the goal please tell your friends to subscribe i need two more to hit 50 i need to do this before the end of the year i don't need to do this i would like to do it anyway uh, so um we were in bhopal it was a fun time it was a very vacation y feeling because like after like staying in for so long even though this was more of a vacation than that was not complaining it was fun as shit i got to meet people mask on fuck it mask off no um i need to stop derailing it's been a minute um <laughs> we went for the wedding uh, i wrote a test on the first day i went there which is very sad and then i had to sit for lectures too because uh, fuck college online hota hai sara bakwas and then um what else is there man i ate a lot of paneer like a lot of paneer fucking mosquito uh, <laughs> it was fun i met with cousins so like now that my younger cousins are like almost at like um what 10th standard age and then like there's another cousin who is like in 12th 11th ish which is like a pretty good age gap i got like speak to them and not as kids like they were not like babies anymore which is great to see fun vibes um it was fun all along i'm very glad that mosi had a fun fun wedding it was very wholesome all of it um and i think it's the best that we could have during a pandemic so like yeah we got home back safe wow uh it's been like a month since the wedding i'm realizing that abhi uh yeah um yeah so the reason why i wanted to talk about a shaadi vlog is some of you might know that i am occasionally a hopeless romantic and occasionally well that occasionally is like important at this point of time uh there was this wedding i attended well it was my cousin's wedding I put mehndi on my hand was very cute. I'll try to edit the picture in like here, but I don't know if I have the skills for that or the temperament to care to put that in there. But we'll we'll think of something. Hey, innovation and you. Um, is that LG? That's LG. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? So that wedding was the first time where I went, and uh, he was the dulha, my cousin brother. and it was a very fun wedding and like for the first time i was like old enough to like you know not be a kid like i was old enough to like understand that like oh this is happening and that's happening and it was a very wholesome feeling for me because i'm like oh fuck i want to get married and then mentally i started preparing these weird like plans of what i would not want to do at my wedding what i would want to do at my wedding what i who i want to call who i not want to call and everything stuff like that so like over the times over like the years this was 2017 i'm guessing and uh, so there was another wedding beach me which had gone for a cousin's cousin's wedding that was fun too and throughout all of these times like the big i did not kill the mosquito i am still not kill the mosquito um it is somewhere around me i don't think i've killed it still uh yeah or uh, going on <laughs> um i'm a bit of a hopeless romantic and um uh, I'm a hopeful. I am a bit of a hopeful romantic at this point in time. And uh, yeah, so I over the years I have had this whole idea of wanting to get married in general. And so one of my different segue, we, we're pulling this one back from way back when. Uh, one of my childhood dreams was to become a house husband. Um, it was more because like uh, I kind of enjoy taking care of like my cousins and all, which is like maternal instincts, eh, or Gupta on fleek. Um. Yeah, that fun fun stuff aside, I always think I always thought that like yeah, I could I could handle like the cooking and everything. That would be a fun vibe to have. Uh, on growing up, I kind of can't cook much. I will learn how to. Please take me as a house husband. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? It's year is what like twenty nineteen or like yeah, I think like last year or like early this year, I had like a epiphany where in general I was like I know how a wedding should be. and uh, going on about that wedding specifically i feel that like for my wedding itself i wanted to be in the woods i think a few people know about this i want my wedding to be in the woods and like i want all like my close friends to be there or whatever i want my family to be there weirdly enough but i want to have like these 
10, 12, 15, 20 closest friends by the time I'll be at that age or whatever. And it's just like a cabin in the woods kind of setting. Wait, no, I mean, not in the spooky way. I mean, like a literal cabin in the woods with probably guards around it that don't let us die. Hey, need to be safe. Uh, a non-haunted cabin in the woods with no serial killer on the loose. I need to watch lesser horror movies and go on with the story more. Um, yeah, so I want it to be like a very generic um, cabin in the woods. We're just sitting there around the fire and I want to give like my vows like to my to be bride slash room here. I would keep my options open. I don't know. <laughs> um, so to my future partner, non-controversial, uh, to whoever my future partner would be, I would want it to be in a very straight up specific, like a uh, fire is there. There's my friends all around the thing. And there's like one side of the fire, where there's just like the space for us to stand. And we're just like taking vows and giving vows to each other for the, I mean, whatsoever vows, there would be like a Christianish way, but like without the Christian elements, it would just be like vows, literally just vows. Like there's nobody to like validify, validi validate, <laughs> to validate the vows. I want it to be like that type of a thing. And then once the wedding is done, we just chill over there. The post wedding scene is just sitting over there around the campfire, maybe getting high. I'm not saying it, but I'm saying it. And like, um, just having a fun, soberish time without being sober at all throughout the whole time. And um, that's basically like how I would like project or like how I want to see my wedding happen. And then like, I'm guessing that would be like a very normal one with like my family over there. But hey, let's not talk about that today. Bye.